Oh no, Kirby. Can you see him now? Yeah. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? It is no secret that people on the internet are ruthless and you think giving them anonymity is the way? Do you know how many times in my youth I looked up how to see anonymous Ask FM questions? Too many times, and spoiler alert, you can't. If you wanted to be absolutely annihilated for just breathing, Ask FM was the place for you. If you were popular though, this might have been a place of comfort because it was probably where you got a lot of validation from your admirers. You weren't? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Let me give you a refresher on this app, or maybe if you don't know what it is, let me tell you. Ask.fm was another attempt at a different social media style since it came out in 2010 where that was really a big boom for younger people having iPods and iPhones. You'd make an account and then bear with me here, it gets, it gets a little complicated. Um, people would ask you questions. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded so bitchy, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> and when you would answer, it would actually show up on your profile. Kind of like a modern day bun, bun book. Kind of like a modern day boom book. I'm sure at the time this concept seemed like a pretty good idea. I assume they were probably trying to be like a different Twitter, but no, it, it was not. It was not a different type of Twitter. And uh, it just traumatized a lot of people. So, although Twitter has done that too. <laughs> It actually wasn't just questions either. It, sometimes people would just send phrases. The wholesome ones were often something like, you're pretty, I think you're really cool, I love your fashion, um, let me take your virginity. People would hardcore take advantage of the fact that it was anonymous. Something that I think was too far in the whole anonymous nature was that you could see how many followers you had, but you actually couldn't even see who was following you. And we'll get into that later on, why that became an issue. The only privacy you really had was that you could select to not be able to receive anonymous messages, but that kind of just left your inbox empty because everyone wanted to be anonymous and be able to freely bully you. <laughs> not gonna lie though, that likely was, yes indeed, the solution to all of our problems, but we just refused to do that. So what exactly went wrong? Or better, what didn't go wrong? We're gonna be talking a lot about the dangers of Ask FM, but honestly, a lot of websites that you use can have pretty dangerous stuff on it. Thankfully though, we have a sponsor for today that could actually limit the amount of stuff that you do come across on the internet that could be dangerous. Today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN currently has 6 million users on it and it was developed by the top cybersecurity specialists, which means you can definitely trust them. For just $1.99, you could be completely safe while doing everything you love to do on the internet. And there's even a 30 day money back guarantee. It allows you to unlock content from all over the world just by changing your location. Maybe you love watching friends for background noise, but you live in the USA and only have Netflix. Well, Alice VPN has your back for that. Or maybe you're searching on Google and you don't really know which sites might be the safest to use. Alice VPN shows you the safe sites so you don't accidentally maybe click on an encrypted one, all while keeping your information very safe and so you won't be tracked. And of course, protection is super important, but it's actually an ad blocker as well. So now when you're looking for clothes or maybe looking at an article, you don't have to worry about a Katie pop-up saying that she's looking for a good time. Katie, I know you're not looking for a good time with me. <laughs> and my personal favorite is that they actually save you money. It will show you the current best deals on whatever website you're on. This even works for subscriptions like Hulu, Netflix, Spotify. It won't just protect you on one device either, it can protect you on all of them. So click on the description below if you want a VPN that is super safe and one that you can trust. And with that, let's move on. Yes. So we briefed upon the anonymous nature of this site, right? Well, that being the entire premise was also what made it such a horrible experience. It all sounded super fun at the time. When you're in middle school, attention is a lovely thing and it's what most of us actually craved. So the idea that you could just pop this link into an Instagram bio and you could get confessions, comments, questions, it was quite desirable. There was actually a time where when you had a crush on somebody, you would likely tell them on Ask FM because you didn't have to worry about the fear of rejection. <laughs> on top of that, getting a crush confession not only made you happy because someone liked you, but you got to actually show that off on your profile when you replied to it. Because again, all your replies were public. I will say though, I know, I know some of y'all out there would write to yourself. <laughs> I may have as well. Important thing to mention, you could write to yourself and when you replied to yourself, it looked as if any other person actually wrote to you. It doesn't It doesn't show that you wrote it to yourself. You usually did this if you didn't want people to know that you weren't getting asked 
things or maybe people were asking you things and it wasn't really what you what you wanted to project onto your profile so sometimes you would just sneakily write up your own question and answer it again i was extremely guilty of this and i even remember one day i was so excited because i saw that i had one message in my inbox just for it to say quote i know you're writing these to yourself period end quote and i cried <laughs> i will say though not all of them most of them but not all of them so jokes on you i guess how embarrassing so not only was i getting bullied but i was also growing deep insecurities of never feeling good enough middle school though was a very horny time and to say that this didn't occasionally get creepily sexual would be wrong my catholic middle school had some gross boys in it i would be messaged to make my uniform skirt shorter was told to wear colored bras under my white polo told to stop wearing shorts under said skirts the list goes on and on it didn't happen to me at least that i know of or remember but it wasn't uncommon for older people to find these young high school middle school ask fm links in their instagram bios and flooding the inboxes with very inappropriate question and comments. Absolute shocker, more pedophilia coming to the front lines of our youth. But I feel like most of our experiences have somewhat to do with bullying. It's just too perfect of an opportunity. No consequences to your actions. All while being in the comfort of your own bed while your extremist Christian mother cheats on your past your dad one room over. Hell yeah. Kids are assholes. Even if you think you weren't one, you were just in your own ways and that's okay unless you're still an asshole then i don't know go to therapy or something get that figured out in my opinion this was one of the last generations where vulgarity and problematic insults work just okay now i feel like we've gotten better at putting people in their place and it's just overall less praise but jokes on you jack i actually am somewhat gay and have probably had more girls than you Girls and boys were different in their own ways with how they actually used Ask FM. At least for the most part, I was able to usually tell a difference. Girls' bullying was often more thought out. They they always knew what would sting, you know? Boys would just be like, you're fat, cow. Like, ouch. What the fuck? It was really cute, though, because I'd be forced to pray every single day next to the same people leaving me all of these very horrible messages wwjd baby but i'm not going to sit here and lie to you i 100 percent also bullied people on this site because yes it's anonymous and it was so easy to do so and i was jealous of so many people jealousy is an evil thing dude <laughs> bullying aside though this this website actually brought out some some really scary stuff i was curious if anyone that maybe followed my instagram page had any experiences with ask fm so i posted a story and i asked so if you possibly want me to tell one of your stories maybe you can follow me on instagram because i plan on doing this more often and when i did this almost every single one of your stories had somewhat to do with stalking hacking or doxing and of course all these stories are from a really long time ago so when you're kids you you get freaked out more than usual but still that shouldn't be a common a common factor in most of everyone's stories with Ask FM. But either way, receiving an anonymous message that someone is outside of your house, it's, it's gonna scare you no matter what. One girl actually reached out to me and she wanted to stay private, which I 100% understand. But she had a whole stalker story that had the police involved and everything. A few other stories that I heard of is that sometimes maybe people would get really weird messages and they would reply thinking it was nothing. And then like not even a minute later, they would have a message in their inbox saying their full name, date of birth, school, address, IP address, phone number. Like even if you're not a young teenager, that should freak you out. I don't know how secure the site was, but Hearing so many stories similar to this makes me think that it wasn't. In 2013, which is 10 years ago, actually blows my mind. The CEO talked about how they had considered shutting down the app due to how much dark stuff was happening. So many horrible things happened in those three years that even though it was successful from a business standpoint, they were still able to recognize the horrors of everything it got to the point where even hearing ask fm just made you cringe and shiver because you knew what was being plastered all over the news for those of you who may not know you know we talked about how 
a lot of bullying happened. But because of how common bullying was, it did contribute to a large amount of teen suicide. My mom was very chill about, you know, letting me have my freedom, make my own mistakes, but when she needed to be serious, she would be. And telling me to not use Ask FM was one of those times. Parents all over were telling their kids that they needed to get off of this site because of how much negative media it was getting. And I would even say it got more negative attention than Kick did, and Kick had a lot. If you're interested in hearing me talk about Kick, it was actually one of my most recent videos, so I can either put a card or I can link it in the description below. I'd say they're connected because they were very popular around the same times. And it was oddly common to be flirted with or even asked on dates through Ask FM. And if you were interested about knowing who they were, you could tell them, oh, just just kick me, like send me a message on Kick, which also was another way to have your Kick plastered for the whole world to see. But yeah, sometimes in your replies, you would add your kick so that if the person wanted to continue their conversation, not so anonymously, you guys could. Moving on from that, though, Ask FM was extremely unmoderated to the point where it did get so bad that they had to consider let's just wipe it. <laughs> in 2014 though, they were actually bought out, which is pretty shocking because of how bad at that point the reputation was but hey, they saw money, I guess. But it's very possible that if they weren't bought out, it probably wouldn't exist today. It was bought by IAC, which actually owns Tinder, which is kind of interesting. And they promoted about how it was gonna be so much safer. So what did they change that made Ask FM safer? Let's find out. I thought the best thing to do to kind of really help my understanding of what new Ask FM is like is go to the app store, AKA the reviews. They wish that there was a block button, which made me itch my head because there's not a block button. You'd think after gaining the reputation of being the most accessible, anonymous cyber bullying outlet, you'd have that. So I looked more into it and there is a block button but they can still see your questions and reply. I don't know, to be honest, it was a little wishy-washy. It seems like the block button doesn't work. One review though was absolutely wild. Apparently Ask FM has a CP problem, but apparently because now you can upload videos and photos, which was another addition I don't feel like should have been added. I guess some evil people have taken advantage of it and have gone around posting CP on the platform. And do you want to know how they replied to honestly this extremely, extremely serious review that, you know, they were trying to let the app store know, they were trying to let the developers know, hey, you have a problem. Do you know how they replied? They replied, Ask FM is a platform where everyone is free to share their own thoughts. <gasps> Maybe that isn't the best introductory sentence. We are sorry that some users use our concept to leave inappropriate swear words in your profile. <gasps> inappropriate swear words is not what this person is concerned about. And it's not what you should be concerned about either. If some person keeps bothering you, you can block them yourself as well. If you need our help to do it, please write us. <laughs> Telling somebody who has downloaded your app and is letting you know that CP is being posted on your platform and replying like this is just crazy to me. How about sending a link to maybe a resource or even a live agent because this is, that's a pretty big deal, you know? Where this person can report the CP promoter instead of just telling them, you can block the account and just pretend it's not happening. Like what? But truthfully, I don't know if that would have done anything because based off of another review that I read, this review said that they have been trying to get assistance for 15 months to have an account looked at for very suspicious behavior. They had reported the account several times and even reached out to Ask FM's Twitter support and still never got any assistance to the point of do they even do anything about accounts being reported. And I also saw multiple reviews that had mentioned virus pop-ups 
you know, in replacement of ads. I kind of had enough of reading reviews though. I wanted to see what it was like for myself. So I signed up because either my old account got deleted or I just don't even remember what email I may have used. And I was curious what would happen if I put that I was born in 2010, which would make me 12 years old. And I was pleasantly surprised that at least it didn't let me make the account. But apparently being 13, is okay, even though it says 17 plus on the app store. I wanted to see what the app looked like when I said I was 13, so I went back, and oddly enough, after I signed out and everything, I went to go make a new account. For some reason, it just didn't ask me for my age again. I don't know if it used my IP address to detect I have no idea. But then oddly enough too, later on I got another screen that asked if I was under 18 or above 18 and I selected under 18. Similar to Kik, they promote sexual ads while still saying that minors can use the app, even going out of their way to reply to complaints like this. We are sorry to hear that you're not happy with our ads on Ask FM. Please be aware that these ads help us improve Ask FM and develop new features. Please hire somebody else to reply to these reviews. There is also a sex bot problem where they will show up in your chats, which by the way, chats were not a thing back when we all used Ask FM. I don't know when that was implemented, but it was a bad idea and has likely contributed more probably to the whole bullying issue that your entire branding is. By the looks of everything and seeing that some of these reviews are years and years old and the problem still persists makes me, of course, come to the conclusion that possibly they still don't care about their user base. But now on top of possibly not caring about their user base, they're also taking their money. I should be careful. What if I get sued by one of these companies? I'm not saying you don't care about your users. I'm just saying it looks like you don't care about your users. So long story short, even though I've already told the long story, no, Ask FM has not gotten better. I genuinely think Ask FM has contributed to internalized mental issues that I have even to this day, which is quite quirky and fun. And a part of me hopes that this video does really well so that my middle school bullies can maybe take a peek at it and even gossip about it between either their nursing or business 101 classes. Cyberbullying, well, bullying in general, is literally the goofiest thing in the world and I genuinely do not respect a single person who actively does it. If you are getting harassed, whether it is in person or online, I'm really sorry and I know that it's such an awful thing to go through and I know people just keep getting smarter and smarter but all you can really do is just continue to block them and just don't give them literally any attention because that is all that they want. They just want your attention to know that you're getting bugged by them. Just know that, you know, there are people that love you and those people who are cyberbullying you are literally pathetic fucking nuisances to the world and you shouldn't waste your energy on them and with that being said i believe that's a wrap if you'd like to follow me my link tree will be in the description below and all the videos that i referenced in this video will also be there as well and yeah thank you atlas vpn again for sponsoring this video that will also be in the description below i will see you guys next time bye